Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode. So, uh, last time we were playing, we had just filled up this very horrible looking load of crap. So, I'm going to bring that back to the mill just to get things finished. Um, and then, um, I'll probably, I'll bring it back here, but I, I think we're going to go back to our other block and do a little bit of work over there. Just to keep things rolling, and then we'll come back and do one final sweep and clean up these shorts. And that uh, nice base of longs over there as well. And then once that's all done, um, we should be golden. Golden and ready to move on to the new block. Uh, it should be a lot easier trekking, but we said we were going to bring the trees through this way, so we're just going to have to deal with our beautiful road here. Hey, we cleared it that time. Just barely by the looks of it, but we cleared it. So this load, this load I'm going to sell. I'm going to take this one park it right at the mill. I'm not going to... I'm not going to try to park this load. It is not a very nice load. It's quite ugly, in fact. Quite ugly. That last load just barely fit underneath that uh, underneath that section over there. So, And any kind of loads we decide that we're going to bank or put in the bank, I think we'll make sure that they're below the stakes for height, not this crazy above the stakes looking thing. Because this is just, just messy. Alright, so about there. I've been parking this pretty close, but we don't need it actually all that close. So let's bring it right alongside right here. Okay, we're just going to leave that there. That way it's ready to be unloaded. This is all again. We'll do that then. Um, we have $405,000 in the bank, so that's a great start. Um, I think what I'm going to do really quickly, because we do have the time to do it, is we're going to drag this guy over yonder. And I think uh, I'm going to pick these up. So I, need a, I need a thumbnail, too. I'm taking one of those in a while. How about that? That's a nice picture. Sure, why not? Just in case. Sometimes I forget. At least that way I have something to work with. Uh, if I find a better one, I usually use that. So let's take all of this for a little walk here. If I can get it all. Come on. Just barely, but it works. And I want to put this over by that other pile so we're ready to go. And it's actually handling the, the longs a lot better with those counterweights. My god. We c there's no way before we'd be able to lift that. No way. And now look at this go, hey? Alright, so where am I going to put these? I haven't really thought about that part yet. Hmm, let's see here. So the truck will be kind of coming at us right there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I can just throw them literally on top of this pile and wouldn't hurt anything. So let's do that. I'm just going to lay them right about there. And we'll even leave the grapple on top of them. Which is also a cool little picture. The more, the more pretty the machines become, the more I like taking pictures. <laughs> Look, we're getting some dirt on there. Look, that dirt's finally showing up. In my testing, I wasn't able to actually see the dirt. Look at those splatters. I had to hand paint these splatters with a brush and then go through all these levels of spectering or specular mapping and stuff. It was a blast. It's nice to see it kind of coming out a little bit there. Okay, anyway, uh, enough about that. Let's get over to our other project here. Uh, here we are. So we just skidded a bunch of wood. I think we should process some of it because we're going we're gonna to start running into some frame rate issues here if we don't get on the move. And then I want to see this processor head get dirty, too, so that's going to be cool. Then we'll have a dirty old processor head. So let's chop up some of this good stuff. And process it into La La Land. I can't remember what, what was our size. I think it was... I think these are okay. I think it was under... 
And that's a scrap. That's not going to be good for anything. Under 350 or something, I think, goes in the second pile. I think that's what I said last time. I can't remember now. Even this thing dominates the wood a lot better now with the counterweight. I put counterweights in any tra all the track machines. So, um, like I said, even this thing is incredibly good. Oops, I guess that one just disintegrated into time and space there. Oops, that's an ugly one. Let's go put it in ugly land here. Technically, that tail probably shouldn't have gone in there, but oh well. Whoops. Although sometimes the trees still get hung up on stuff. Whatever stuff is going on back there. Okay, so... Before I cut that, I just want to see what I'm hitting. Oh, I'm totally hitting this little stupid tree right here. I'm just going to get rid of this. Solve this problem once and for all. So like sitting there going, I'm like, what am I hitting that's causing this issue? Because it's really annoying. Sure, I don't care where you go as long as you're out of my world here. That should be better. Beauty. Now we got the room to wiggle about. That one just barely passes the queue. A couple of ugly little guys here. Oops. Put that up a little bit there. Kind of back up a little here. See, because we're going to get too many pieces all together, my frame rate's going to start getting hurt here. I can tell you that right now. So, next episode, we're going to have to start cleaning up that road because we got to get that loader over here to start loading some truck. Oops, that one probably could have gone in the ugly pile. That's okay. Plenty more for the ugly pile. Oh man, I just cannot wait for this night shift crap to be over. You have no idea. It's so tiring. I just feel like a zombie all the time. And then I can start going back. One thing I am missing is actually playing multiplayer. You're having such a good time doing that. <laughs> Now I'm just like, oh man, I can't even do my multiplayer because my time schedule is so wacky. I can't plan around times or work around times with anybody. It's just like, this sucks. Thank God it's only for two weeks. I'm whining a lot for only two weeks, but it still sucks. Especially when you work other jobs during the day. It's like you have to try to kind of find weird hours to fit in your sleeping schedule. It's kind of a pain in the behind. I wish this game was good enough, um, like, physics-wise, that you could just stack all of the logs, no matter what, however many thousand you wanted to do. Or they had, like, a proximity effect. Instead of affecting the whole deck, they just stopped at some point in the deck. Actually, it's kind of a tiny one, kind of, sort of. That's our pulp wood deck on that side. Garbage. The garbage wood. That one's just going to irritate me, I can tell you right now. Oops. And then by doing that, its little friend didn't like me, so it went up too. Close enough. Close enough. Let's grab that one. Reap. If I can get that one, that is. It's kind of trying to push our 
push our deck out a little bit here because we're getting a little getting a little cramped up. And then we got do, got some room for some chipping here too. So we'll have to get on that. The chipping is a whole nother world I'm getting into slowly here, but I'm trying to get as many machines out as I can that uh, that are all good to go. But definitely uh, the chipping and wood chip world is something I uh, want to play with. I find chipping is a lot more fun in multiplayer because you can have guys doing normal logging like I'm doing right now. And then, um, as like side projects, guys can be chipping, especially guys who don't have controllers or guys who don't want to uh, log or they're bored and want to try something different. The wood chipping is a nice break from just the general logging that we do. So, um, I definitely want to develop stuff for that side of things just to make it a little bit more fun for people. Because the current chippers in game are not super. Well, they're not terrible, but they're not super fun. They're just kind of frustrating. And a lot of them don't quite cut the logs the way I would like them to. I have very high standards for my physics. <laughs> Extremely high standards. Uh, uh, man, this has been a while since we processed so much wood, hey? That skitter did a number, though. It sure brought a lot over. It's good. Technically, that piece should not have gone in there, but oh well. We'll just have some, some fugly, fugly bits. Now, I don't want to add any more wood to this deck until we've um, cleaned it out because, my God, I'm surprised the frame rate isn't dropping already with what we got on here. Just crazy. Uh, get one more out of that? Nah, I don't like that. Our deck's going a little askew here, so let's clean that up a bit. Of course, with the logs being kind of bendy, it's hard to make a completely perfect deck, but we can try. We can always try, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll stack them up here. Yeah, I don't like that one. Pulp it. Pulp that wood. And we're going to do the same with this guy. And then we're going to use the skitter to actually push up that crap, I think. Push it all into a chip pile. Yeah, I don't like that one either. They're kind of ugly bits, eh? If they have any bends and crooks and weird looking stuff in them, I mean, like, get them out of my nice pile. Don't you ruin my beautiful pile. We'll just leave this head right here to support our pile. Beauty. It's actually a really nice little, nice little deck. Nice little picture there. And we're going to use Muddy Skitter here, buddy. Muddy Buddy Skitter. And drop this blade. Hopefully our plow is off, which I think it is. It is, yeah. It still gives you the plowing effect, but it's not actually plowing. <laughs> Look at that. See, we just clean up the whole line there. See, this is, this is how logging was supposed to be in all the games. I'm so glad we're able to kind of give it this level of detail now. So sweet. So sweet. Okay, so let's get this guy up and grab some more. Actually, I'm going to get this thing into a skidding position, and then maybe we will, before we go, let's unload that truck. Let's go bring this guy down here. We'll just get this guy into a position. We'll unload that truck, and maybe if we have the time, I'll bring it back here. We'll probably only have enough time to unload it, but who knows. Let's see here. Ah, here we are. 
Let's do the old unlock the load move. The only thing about this vehicle shader that's kind of weird is it does make machines have like that bubble wrap effect of shininess on them, which is kind of... It's a weird giants thing. Can't get around that. Makes them kind of ultra shiny, especially the skitter, but... At the same time, the logs do... Or the machines do look so much better that it's not really a big deal. There we go. Whoops. Sure, if you're going to put the logs down, that you have them in a good position. <laughs> Unlike what I just did. Let's see here. I don't like to take, like, a whole truckload. Oh, my God. That's, like, a whole truckload. Okay, that's going to get tippy. We'll bring that in. Oh, bring her in. Oh, no. Oh, we've done it now. If I go really fast. Oh. <laughs> We did it. I just have to get it to the back track and then we're good. It's just that one rotation point there. So it's meant for little bunks. At shorts will be so much easier. I can do like a whole scoop of shorts. We should be, we should, well, I think we're done with longs now. This is our last real load of longs. We still have one more load of those, uh, It'll be kind of a half load of longs and half load of shorts, so that'll be all right. We can make that work. That's it. We got it all. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. What do you think? Ooh, that one might be more. Let's say 63. Ooh, 60,700. That was a close call. I was going to check something. So kind of muddy, kind of muddy. Oh, okay. I uh, I drove in the grass a little bit uh, on the way back, but only on one side. So I was like, "What the heck?" Because I'm like, "Oh, is my shader glitchy?" Because for some reason the tires on one side are dirty and the other side they're not. But I think it's literally because when I drove on that road on the way back, I drove in the grass only on one side, so it cleaned off the tires on one side but not the other, which is actually pretty cool because um, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's just like, oh, I didn't think, I thought it would track all the tires at once. I didn't think they were individually determined, so that was kind of cool. All right, so let's get this thing back into a loading position, and uh, I think we'll be out of time just by the time we get her parked. In the next episode, we got to clean up that, uh, we got to clean up that spot that we have there because we need to move the loader over and get rid of those shorts before we can pull more down. But we can definitely probably do a little bit more bunching and stuff as well if we want. Look at this block. We did it. We destroyed this block. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Maybe what we'll do is just to be nice to ourselves for the next video, we'll set ourselves up a little here. Let's throw those longs on there real quick before we before we get moving here. Is this thing getting dirty yet? I've been waiting for this thing to get dirty. Oh yeah, she's starting to get dirt on her. Look at that. Just slowly showing up. I can't wait. Alright, so just like I said, to set ourselves up to make life easy, let's just grab this whole bundle and stuff them on there. And then in the next one we will... Ooh, I probably could have got that closer to us, hey? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Right about there, I think. All right, so now we need to shuffle them down so they're flat. Or as flat as we can get. I don't know why I parked that truck so far away. Well, let's fix this first and we'll move it. Let's correct our situation here. How's that looking from the side? Is there space? Oh, we could fit that one down there, I'm sure. This one's like, what about me? Is there room for me? And I'm like, I don't know, man. I just work here. Come on. Oh, there you go. There we go. Getting there anyway, huh? Eh? Kind of don't want that side sticking up over there, though.
Beauty. There we go, boys. We build a deck. So now what I want to do is not have that so freaking far away. So let's turn it around. Or not turn it around. Let's back it up. I'm actually going to walk that too. And we're going to back it right in there. So we get that stump and keep hitting. <laughs> well, actually, we gotta. Uh, we're gonna have to back it all the way up because we're gonna load that front bunk first. See, now we're too close. My God, you just can't go. Can't find a happy medium sometimes. There we go. Right about there is good. Line it up kind of with the cab. Perfect. Oh, almost perfect. That one log's being a little, a little bit glitchy, but that's okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to shut this guy off. When we come back, we're doing the final march for cleanup to get rid of this. So we got to throw all these shorts on, and we're going to walk up to that next pile up top there. Throw those on there. We should have a load. And then we can move back onto the other spot spot and uh, keep loading. So, yeah, if you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.